The Ford Explorer has pulled off a graceful transition from being a clumsy off-roader to a genteel family wagon. I'm reviewing the sport trim which has twin turbo V6 engine, uh, sport suspension, 20 inch uh, wheels and also some black exterior elements. The Explorer's visual approach hasn't changed for most of this decade. Uh, the details show how Ford has mastered the Land Rover's design language uh, from its mesh grille, the crisp corners, clean cut lines. They all have a striking resemblance with all discoveries, old and new. This sport trim gets a ruby red color uh, with an exterior detailing with black contrast in the front grille. Uh, back bumper and the front bumper and uh, also the door handles and some of the bars. The Explorer's uh, tightly composed interior is well assembled and handsome. There is plenty of soft touch material throughout the dash and the steering also has high quality leather. The sport trim will get you a Sony audio system, navigation, and also you will get powered re rearmost seats. We touch a button, they fold and rise back up, and the front seats are ventilated and leathered. Some of the safety features that you will get are front collision warning, uh, lane assist, emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and also auto beams and rain sensing wipers. The Vastal Ford Explorer has plenty of room to spare, um, but it needs better seats. It's super area up front with a long dash and lots of headroom and elbow space, but second and last row could use some attention. The rearmost seats Ford reserves for the kids, the in-laws, and people held in general disfavor. So this sport trim has twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 engine that gives you 365 horsepower. And when you put it in the sports mode, it really scurries along. Now its large turning radius makes maneuvering a challenge. However, it rides smoothly on most occasions. Uh, even with its uh, large sports wheels, um, the steering responds very quickly. Now the engine is very thirsty and sometimes it just drinks too much. Uh, and also the Ford Explorer lets itself down with a marginal crash test rating from the IIHS. It is a very noiseless ride. Um, you won't hear much of the wind noise as well. It's uh, deadened by some of the cushions. Um, the suspension also does a good job to soak up some of the bumps as well. With every one thing it does well, someone else does it better. Uh, with others taking over the Explorer in its packaging, comfort, dynamics, and luxury, it is now time for Ford to really show that we try harder when the next generation Explorer hits the streets in 2019. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and leave your comments below.